3.58. All right, that looks good. Eighth term is going to give me 3.58. Common ratio 1.2. First term is going to be A. And how does that look? So I say geometric sequence has a sixth term of 32, a tenth term of 512. Find the ratio, first term, and the fifteenth term. Well, we're going to be using my general formula regardless of whatever. So I'm going to substitute these guys in here. Remember, n equals 10 for this guy and n equals 6 for this guy. Let's do the, the bigger one first. I'll do the bigger one on top. So I'll say um, 512 equals a times my common ratio and n minus 1 for that is 9. That's this one. Now this one. 32 equals a times r to the power of 5. Okay. Divide the two equations and I get 512 divided by 30, 16. A's cancel out, giving me 1. And the common ratio, 9 minus 5 is 4. You don't divide those exponents, you subtract them. So now, common ratio is the fourth root of 16, which is, I think it is, 2. Great, got the common ratio. I'm going to take that common ratio and substitute it back into there to solve for A. So solve for A. This one looks a little bit different. Because I got 32 equals the first term times 2 to the fifth. I just have to simplify 2 to the fifth. 32 equals A times, hey, wait a minute. 2 to the fifth is 32. My common ratio, my first term is 1 once again. All right. Well, I've got these. I can substitute them in there to find the 15th term, and I'm in business. So, the 15th term is the first term, 1, times common ratio, 2, and minus 1, 14. Sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four. How does that look? All right. We can do these. We can do them. <laughs>